Hello learners, I am back again with numbers. Wasn't it fun how we learnt to count in the last class? We saw how one big mango was shared with everyone. How one bird kept adding and the numbers kept increasing. And we learnt counting from 1 to 9. And now let's join a drawing event. It's a drawing event held for children on Ekta Divas. Learners, it is also called National Unity Day. Do you know why we celebrate Ekta Divas? This day is celebrated to mark the birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. He had a major role towards India's independence and unity. The importance of the day is to uplift the strength and unity of the nation. As you can see, in this activity, each child has some objects in his hands and in front of them. Let's count the objects and help them know if they have enough material with them. So let's the fun begin. As you can see, the first object is a cardboard. Let's count and see if it's more than the number of children, less than the number of children or same as the number of children. So first of all, let's count the number of children. So how many do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 are sitting on the ground and 1 is observing them. So in total, we have 4 children. And the number of cardboards, let's count them. It's 1, 2, 3. We have 3 cardboards. And since there are 4 children, the answer is, it is less than the number of children. So we have to put a tick in the column where it says it's less than the number of children. Moving on to the next object. The next object, what do you see it is? It is a chart paper. So let's count how many chart papers we have. It's 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And how many children do we have? We have four children. So this is more than the number of children. So we will put a tick in the column where it says more than the number of children. Our third object is a crayon. Now let's see how many crayons we have. Let's count them and accordingly tick if it's less than the number of children, same as the number of children or more than the number of children. Moving on to the next object, it is a pencil. Similarly, we have to count the number of pencils that we have and put a tick if it's as same as the number of children, less than the number of children or more than the number of children. Our last object is an eraser. And how many erasers do we have? Yes, we have just one eraser. And it is less than the number of children. So we have to put a tick in the column where it says it's less than the number of children. So wasn't that fun children? Let's move on to our next exercise. As you can see, we have to count the number of things we see and tick the ones that are more in number. So we have apples and bananas. Let's count and see which of them are more in number. Let's first count the apples. One, two, three, four, five and six. There are six apples. Now bananas, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight bananas. Now what do we do? Now we have to see which is more in number. It is 8. You are right. It's the bananas. So, 
we have to put a tick mark here as shown next we have chapatis and idlis let's count the number of chapatis we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we have 9 chapatis now idlis we have 1 2 3 4 Four and five, so we have nine chapatis and five idlis. But here we have to put a tick on the one which is less in number. So which of the two is less in number? Is it nine or five? Yes, you are right. It is five. So we put a tick on idlis. Next is a bunch of friends and balls. Let's count. and take the one which is less in number so first let's count the kids 1 2 3 4 we have four kids let's now count the number of balls we have it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we have four kids and six balls which is less in number Yes you're absolutely right it is four kids so we put a tick there let's play finger game now play this finger game with your friend show some fingers for example four fingers your friend has to show less fingers than four so what is less than four it is either 3 can be 2 or can be 1 You can continue playing this game by asking them to show more than that number, less than that number, more number in some other way and less number in some other way. For example, if you ask your friend to show you 4 on one and 1 on the other or it can even be 3 on one and 2 on the other which makes it 1 2 3 4 5 So you can play this in various ways that you want. I hope you like this exercise and I'm sure you're going to have fun doing it with your friends. With that, let's move on to the next one. Oh, look at that. It is such a beautiful picture. Let's look at the picture and see what all we have here. We see sun, mountains, boats, lotus flowers. Now all that you have to do is look at the picture carefully and do as directed. So, let's draw a triangle around the objects which are one in number. So what is one in number? You see a bird, right? Yes. So you have to draw a triangle around the bird and write one on your sheets. Next, draw a circle around the objects which are 2 in number. And write down 2 on your sheets. Now, draw a rectangle around the objects which are 3 in number. So now, try to find out which objects are 3 in number. Look at the picture carefully. and try to pinpoint which objects are 3 in number and then write down 3 on your sheets since we have already observed one bird two snails and three lotuses similarly you have to observe other objects which are 1 in number 2 in number and 3 in number next picture is of a fair and look what all we have here we have balloons puppets puppeteer and look the kids are enjoying in groups let's look at it properly so now draw a triangle around the objects which are 4 in number so look at the picture and write down 4 on your sheets so for example we have four puppets right so what do we do we draw a triangle and 
write the number 4. So draw a circle around the objects which are 5 in number. Look at the picture and try to locate which objects are 5 in number and then write down 5 on your sheets. Next, you draw a rectangle around the objects which are 6 in number. So look at the objects which are 6 in number and then write down 6 on your sheets. So learners, in this exercise, we saw 4 toy elephants and puppets, 5 toy horses and 6 balloons. Similarly, now look at the picture again and try to find out objects that are 4, 5 and 6 in number. Wow! Look at this picture. It's such a beautiful night view we see. What all do we have here? We have the moon, houses, stars and look how beautiful the stars form into a shape. So let's start with our exercise. All that we have to do is draw a triangle around the objects which are 7 in number. As we just counted 7 stars, so you can draw a triangle around it. Next, you draw a circle around the objects which are 8 in number. So try to find out the objects which are 8 in number and draw a circle around it. And then you write down 8 on your sheets. As you can see on the screen, this is what 8 looks like. Similarly, you have to draw it on your sheets. Next, draw a rectangle around the objects which are 9 in number. So let's try to find out what all objects are there in the picture which are 9 in number. Draw a rectangle and then write down the number 9 on your sheets as it is shown on the screen. So now it's time to wrap up our counting journey with all the beautiful memories of the drawing event, finger game and picture exercises. Always remember, practice makes perfect. Keep counting and I will see you in the next session of Mango Treat with some more exercises. Mm -hmm.